cotton candy was invented by a dentist. Cotton candy is essentially made out of very thin fibers of caramel. Sugar is added to the machine and then spun around and heated to melt it and make it stretch into these fibers. After letting it collect for a bit, a mesh is formed by the randomly placed fibers and can be put together into a ball of cotton candy. Flavor and coloring are added to the sugar, but it's mostly just sugar. However, sugar is hygroscopic. That is, it tends to absorb moisture from the atmosphere. That, it's all sugar formula is based on freshly spun cotton candy. As it sits waiting for someone to come eat it, the cotton candy slowly absorbs water from the air and gets heavier and heavier. This can throw off any calculations based on its weight. That bag of cotton candy may, at the end of the day, weigh two or three times what it used to, but still, only contain an original couple of ounces of sugar. Cotton candy brings back so many fond memories of county fairs and good times at amusement parks. Cotton candy is 99% sugar, 1% food coloring and flavoring, plus lots of air. If you let it sit in humid conditions, the fluffy strands will turn back into moist crystals of sugar. The correct way to eat cotton candy is to do it carefully, so none of your saliva touches it before it goes in your mouth. Use your dry fingertips to gently pull off strands and place them in your mouth, taking care to avoid touching your fingertips to your lips. Keep the cotton candy dry and you will be able to eat every bit of it while it is still fluffy. Don't bother buying cotton candy on a humid day. It will compress and start weeping the minute the air gets to it. Cotton candy, long criticized for its empty calories, may be redeeming itself within the medical community because it could aid in regrowing human tissue. Nutritionally speaking, the sugars in cotton candy are simple carbohydrates, so they supply your body with nothing but calories. Sugar can be bad for teeth and has no valuable nutrients. Made of liquid sugar spun into tiny strands, cotton candy was invented in 1895 by John C. Wharton, a candy maker, and William Morrison, a dentist. They called their creation Fairy Floss and sold thousands of servings at the St. Louis World's Fair in 1904. It wasn't renamed cotton candy until the 1920s by Joseph Losco, another dentist who sold the saccharin confection to his patients. One wonders if these sugar-peddling dentists weren't attempting to drum up more business for themselves.